NKC Art. One point perspective Aquarium. Open up a new page and zoom out so you can see all the edges. There's a ruler tool at the top. You can angle. You're going to go from one corner of the paper to the opposite end of the other side of the paper to the corner. And um, you're going to get black and your technical pen. And you might go around about a three, a four, somewhere around there will be good. And you're going to use that ruler's edge to draw a straight line from one corner to the other, diagonal across your page. Then you're going to adjust your ruler to the other side and draw a diagonal along the other, line the other direction from one corner to the other. This will give you an X in the middle of your paper when you're done. The middle of that X, the very part where those two lines intersect is where your vanishing point is going to be, where everything is um, way off in the distance until you can't see it anymore. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to use that ruler to draw a straight line on the sides of your page from one diagonal line to the other. These are going to be where like the um, windows are seamed together, like on the side of this aquarium. So I'm going to go ahead and put a few lines down. Make sure that those lines are touching your diagonal line so that you can fill this in with color later. You can't have any cracks to fill the color in. And notice how I have to have that ruler over there when I'm drawing with the ruler on right next to where I had it to finish my um, line so that there's no cracks. Then I'm going to go in and go ahead and make one more line on here. Um, a little too far. It's hard to get it exactly from one line to the other. It takes a few tries. When you're done with that, we're going to do lines on the other side as well. Uh, I try to line them up about the same distance as the other windows on the other side. It can be a little bit difficult to do. Um, just try your best and um, see what you can come up with. If you want to take your time, you can also probably use that ruler a little bit better and work towards you or work for you to get those lines about where they're the same on both sides. Use that ruler on the floor now to draw horizontal lines across your page. I like to line mine up with the window cracks. You don't have to. It's just going to be for the tile on the floor. We're going to make some um, checkers. Then when I want to do my other lines to crisscross to make my checkers, I'm going to angle at that vanishing point with my ruler and then it's going to come out wider on the end. So it looks like the floor is wider where I am and then gets smaller back in the distance. I'm going to add a few lines from that vanishing point and it'll kind of make a checker pattern for me. So that looks like tile going down the hallway. On the top, I'm just going to connect those two window lines on the side to each other with like a curve. Some of that curve may have to go off the paper so it looks like it's just cropped out of the picture. Once you get your sequarium drawn, you can add some sea life. So you could add like some sea plants in here, some rocks. Um, you could do sharks, fish. If you need help drawing something, you can always look up on Safari and see if you can find like shark clip art. Anything clip art that somebody else drew is going to be easy to look at and draw off of. Um, so I like to look up like whale clip art, shark clip art, stingrays would be nice to put in your sequarium. So I'm trying to add a coral. I'm not very good at coral. I don't remember what it looks like. Um, I could look it up on Google, but I'm trying to go rather quickly so that you guys can start your project. So a few more like seaweeds, maybe like a little beach, sandy beach down there, some more seaweed. And then I think on the top I'm going to add some jellyfish. Again, make sure all your lines are touching because then you can use that paint bucket tool next week when we go back in to color this and you won't have as many issues if you don't have cracks anywhere between your lines. They should all touch. <clears throat> so I'm going to put a couple of jellyfish up here. I like to do the tentacles first and the bottom of them last. That way I don't have to worry about erasing my lines for the tentacles to hang out. Um, possibly over here I can do some like little clownfish like Nemo, those orange and white fish, the little stripes on them. Add a couple of those over here and then possibly a big turtle. Now the turtle shape is a little bit hard to draw. I just do the best I can. It's kind of like a soccer ball shape. Um, but they can be kind of difficult, so I just kind of make it look like a turtle shell the best that I can, just filling in all of those cracks. 
Again, anytime you make a mistake, you can hit that back arrow instead of using the eraser, and it'll just take your mistake away from you. You can hit it as back, back as many times as you need to to fix any mistakes that you might have. So I think I'm going to add some like angelfish over here, and then possibly like a couple of like a school of little fish going on right over here. And again, like I said, you could add anything you want to to your Seaquarium. When you're done, make sure you go to those three lines at the top and save it to your gallery. Submit it to Canvas so I can see it.